Hello everyone, welcome to another session on Pharma Fun for Us. My name is Abid Nisa Begum and as you know, we were learning about the complete clinical data management. And yeah, today we're going to learn about electronic data capture and what all does it include. This is going to be really simple as we have actually studied most of it in the last session if you have gone through the second video. If you haven't gone through, I would suggest go through the second video to understand this one as well. Alright, moving forward. The agenda is really simple. We're going to understand what is this electronic data capture, how is the data storage done in that, what's the external data that we can feed, and what's if there is any type of coding for that. My name is Abhaganisa. I will be your instructor throughout this course for clinical data management. And to talk about me, I have done my post-graduation in pharma. I had I worked as a clinical data manager at first, and then I moved into data science, and I am a data scientist right now. So I think that's uh, you know that's a lot about me now let's move ahead and talk about what is this electronic data capture it's just a system software for you know storing data collected in clinical trials that is what we typically do in ecrfs uh, sorry crfs that is case report forms if you remember the second video case report form that is what we studied we are storing custom uh, sorry the patient's data that we collect from the clinical trial and we store it in the form of crfs now, what is ECRF? ECRF is the mode, that is electronic mode of this case report form. That's it. So data is typically first recorded on the paper and then it's transcribed into the system and saved in an electronic case report form. What is the importance at all? So let me first explain this to you in a very simple way. If I am putting it in a pretty simple way, I would say ECRF is, uh, you know, an electronic version electronic version of CRFs. What is a CRF? Case report form. Now, if you still do not know what a case report form is, during the clinical trials, you will collect some data. You want the patient's data and you know, all the details that you want to fill, you will fill in this case report form. So we studied about the paper or you know, the other mode of case report form. This time, today, we're going to learn about electronic case report form. That's it, as simple as that. Now, a form, this is a form again, if I want to give you a complete perfect definition for a CRF. It's a form used for capturing data in pharmaceutical and medical device clinical trials, not just medicines, also for medical devices. They have historically always been on something like a carbon copy paper or uh, you know, so that why are we taking a carbon copy of it is because we want to add this sheet to, you know, a different trial master file. Yeah, one will be the copy and one will be added to the trial master file. So TMF is the acronym. If you heard about this somewhere and you do not know what this is when you talk about clinical trials. So trial master file is what TMF stands for. Now classical style CRFs. Uh, you know, they're still used in some small studies and there is a place for them there at the moment. But small, you know, most larger scale industries, they have moved to ECRFs. ECRF again. What is ECRF? Electronic case report forms. Now, we know that ECRF is the techie big brother of the traditional CRF systems. What is the benefit of using it that way? Right? So the first thing, it's the availability of the data. Now, what do I mean when I say availability of the data? Wherever and whenever I want, I can get the details. Then rapid transfer. Why would I need this rapid transfer? So suppose I have to transfer some data to another branch of this. So it will be easier for me by using the external devices, I can transfer this data. Or I want to share it to some other team, not my team, I want to share it with other team. It will be easier for to transferring, right? Otherwise, I'll have to make a copy of it and I'll make sure that the same, the correct paper is being sent and all that. So that is when ECRFs are, you know, again, important. Now, there can be predefined plausibility checks to ensure data appears more appropriate. 
so it will be easier for you to check also right when it's in on your system definitely all those who are you know used to the paper form that's the traditional CRF form that is so it's not that it is bad or something but then moving to a new technology that will be more useful of course storage space will also be saved because of this right so that is one reason why we could actually use ECRFs and again like I said ability to share data or transfer data you know if other relevant personnel they, if they need access to the information so it will be needed to access then there is also something called as reporting. What is reporting? We want to report whatever we find we found out in the clinical trial. So status reports available are available throughout the study and also on completion, right? So that is also one thing about electronic case report forms. Now security. This is a very important point, I would say. We only determine and control by you, right? So Security is important to all we do with clinical trial data. This approach offers much more secure storage and also, you know, access systems than in traditional CRS. So only you can access or the one you are giving access to can access it. Not everybody can have access to it, right? So that is one thing. So these are a few things. What all did we mention? Availability of the data, rapid transfer of data, and, you know, appropriate data also ability to share data reporting and security so there are six very important points that we want to know but obviously uh, a lot of companies they still have this traditional crfs going on within the clinical trial environment but we i what i feel here is it will gradually phase out as technology continues to develop so a lengthy paper reporting system can surely only compete against a few taps on a phone or a tablet right so that's how it goes. So what I would conclude is ECRF or an electronic case report form or you know electronic data storage as we studied as you know we called it in the beginning. So electronic data capture or whatever you want to call it. We capture it in CRF so that is why we are calling it as ECRF. So the method of electronic data capture is ECRF of course. So how would I conclude is an electronic case report form which replaces the need for traditional CRFs are designed to save time and you know they help to make data more transparent for everybody involved in the clinical trial process. There is something else also that I want to show us the how does an electronic CRF look like electronic case report form. So one very interesting one that I found is mm -hmm, I just saw that but let's have a look at all of them. Right, so this can be one ECRF, right? Easy to fill the details, and also we have we can have as many copies as we want. We can just share this data with anybody. That's how it goes. So uh, what are the others? Yeah, this is another one. Right? All that information that you want in different tabs, and you can just store it. okay so what you can do now is you can search for different examples of ecrfs right give me the different names of ecrfs available online so most of the companies they'll develop their own right but a lot of them they will have these clinical data management systems they'll, they'll buy it buy it as in you know they'll have different supplier or not exactly suppliers different companies who would give this so you can see you have oracle as well and there are a lot of others which provide this clinical data management system which will have crfs of course but most of the big companies if you are talking about no what is if you are talking about gsk so i mean that's an example of a big company right so that is when you know they use they have it built for them customized right they don't have to really uh, depend on somebody who is on a pre-made Right, pre-made CRF or so right so all right that's all I had to say for today but another thing another very important thing that I would say is if you think I have missed upon some details that I should have mentioned in this session or you know if there is any wrong information okay so you can always let me know in the comment section or I am giving you my email ID as well here so write it down or if you want I also provide personal trainings so you can also 
message me or mail me for these trainings on CDM, right? All right, so I think that's about it that I had to share today. Very simple, but a very important aspect of clinical data management system. Thank you very much for being with me throughout this session. Have a great day. Happy learning. Goodbye and see you to the next session.